All right, so now we need to define ran grade uh, so that it takes in a parameter and uh, prints out an intelligent response. We kind of got that started um, in our last uh, video, right? Um, except we didn't have it taken a parameter. Um, and I don't think we need to, right? So maybe I need to change that here in the guide. Um, but we definitely do want it to uh, print out a uh, random response, right? So I want it to either print, um, of course you will, right? Get a good grade, right? What do you think all your hard work was for, right? Um, so I wanted to either print that or print something else or print something else right want to do like one of those three things if this is true and so how do I do that well you want to probably have an if statement right because your program's gonna be making a decision here and we probably want a random number right so how do we do a random number well we did it right up here, right? So this is a random number from one, two, or three. So I could just like copy that. And I could say if that is equal equal to one, then do that, right? Or maybe I, I think a more efficient way to do this, because what I was going to do is elif is equal equal to two. And then I would do else do that, right? Um, but a more efficient way of doing this would be to do the random number out here right once and then test it um, just because it would need to run you know more lines of code in order to get this finished the rather than have it just done once right it's faster for something to be done once than twice right so I can say here um, ran is equal to that random number and then I'm going to say if rand is equal to 1, else if rand is equal to 2, I'll say something else, or I'll say something else. And so, yeah, so that should give us random responses, right? Let's go ahead and test that out. So I'll say, will I get an A this year? Maybe 3, right? So that would be the random response that I gave out. You want to ask another question? Yes. Will I get an A this year? It should give me, we have a 66% chance it'll give us a different answer, right? And it did, right? It gave us the first choice, right? Would you like to ask another question? Yes. And let's say, will I get an A this year? Maybe. And three, right? So back to three. So here we're getting kind of like just different responses based on what the user, uh, based on a random number. And that's kind of what we want to do here for RAND grade. And um, I guess another thing that we want to also think about is here in get A, we check for one kind of question, right? But this function should be checking for all questions related to schoolwork and grades. So you would check for that and you would say elif, right? and have another set of criteria or keywords that you're searching for in the question and you would want to run RAND grade based on that, right? So we want to generalize RAND grade where it's like we have a response for this kind of question, we have a response for this kind of question, right? And let's say this other question is, um, let's see, uh, let's see, what can I ask here? Um, maybe I could say like will in Q and maybe we could just like ask the opposite right will I fail so will I get a F in question right and so for this question we want a very different response than from this question here right so how can we do that using the same function well we can do that the same way that we generalize check input Right, we could pass in an argument, and based on that value of that argument, uh, we could either do one branch or we can execute a second branch. Right. So here, I'm going to pass in a. Here, I'm going to pass in f for fail, and then if I do that though, I want to jump up here and receive it. Right, and I could say type. Right. This is going to be the type of question, 
And so this is what I want to do if um, these are the three possible responses that I want to give if this is the question that the user asked. Right? So how can I do that? I could say if type equals A. Right? Then I do this branch. And I could say elif type equal F. Then I'll do another branch right, with another set of canned responses. So yeah, so that's kind of how we're going to get our um, Magic 8-Ball to anticipate questions. And then that's how we're going to get Rangrade to answer those types of questions. Right? And so we're going to do grades, we're going to do love, and we're going to add another two categories of your own design to the, to the Magic 8-Ball. And that's how you're going to get it done. Right?